Hello everybody and welcome back to Recreation Gaming TV or RGTV for short. I am Kelvin and welcome to gaming news update number two for this channel. So let's get started. Tomb Raider trailer, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now the trailer, a new gameplay trailer is, is available on YouTube that you guys can check out. Uh, to give my thoughts on Tomb Raider or, or Tomb Raider the Definitive Edition, I have to say that I really enjoyed the game. It was a fun experience. I had a good story. It was great playing as Lara Croft. Uh, it looked amazing. It, it was fun. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get the new Tomb Raider game for the Xbox One. Or I might just wait uh, forever how long I have to wait for it for the PS4 version. But if not, I'll just get it for the Xbox One. But I will say this, that... Tomb Raider, like, if when it releases on Xbox One, it's not going to be a day one purchase for me. Either I'm going to wait for the PS4 version or I'll wait a little bit. But it's not one of those games that, like, that's, like, most anticipated for me. But it's a game that I will eventually get to play because it's a game I want to beat. But, you know, it's not like I'm anticipating or, like, going crazy for it. So go, make sure you go check out the new Tomb Raider uh, trailer. Uh, number two. Castle Crashers Remastered. Now, I saw this on the Xbox One store, and they remastered Castle Crashers. Now, I never beat Castle Crashers, but I did play it back on the 360, and it was a fun game. And I assume it's also remastered for the PlayStation 4 as well, so it should be in the PlayStation Store. If not, that's my mistake. But yeah, it's remastered, and if you guys haven't played Castle Crashers, make sure you, you go buy the game. It's a fun game, especially if you play with your friends, so make sure you go check that out, guys. Number three, the Xbox One Elite controller will be releasing in October. If you guys don't know what the Elite controller is, it's Microsoft's newest controller, but it's like very customizable. You can change things on the controller. It's basically like a scuff and a razor controller put into one, but this is like Microsoft. They made it. It's their own controller. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I, I would actually consider getting it getting it but the reason why i'm not going to buy it is simply because i already have two xbox one controllers so there's no need for me to get another one but in the future maybe but as of right now i really don't know to be honest with you guys and if i'm correct the xbox one elite controller cost 150 bucks which that's a lot of money so and it's money that i don't need to spend on but if you guys need a new controller and you want a more customizable controller that would be better for you I would definitely check out the Xbox One Elite controller. It looks pretty good to me, in my personal opinion. Uh, let's see, number four. World of Tanks. If you guys don't know what World of Tanks is, it is a strategy game. I highly recommend you download it. it I know it's available for PC. It's available for the Xbox 360 and Xbox One. And you can actually play it together whether you're on the Xbox 360 or the Xbox One. So that's pretty nice. But World of Tanks is coming to PlayStation 4, so... I don't know if I will download it for the PS4 because I already have on the Xbox One and I already have friends to play with on the PS4, but, I mean on the Xbox One, but I might actually download the game for PS4 for just for the hell of it. World of Tanks is honestly a fun game to play and it's free and it's very good quality and it looks amazing on the Xbox One. Uh, Halo Wars being my favorite strategy game so far that I've, out of all the strategy games I've played in my life, Halo Wars definitely being my favorite and World of Tanks definitely being number two for me. Fun game. You should definitely go check that out. Uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, the new Xbox One experience. For those of you that don't know, we are getting a new UI this fall. User interface or new Xbox One dashboard. For those of you that own an Xbox One, I'm pretty sure we can all agree that the, in the user interface is complete freaking garbage. I'm sorry if I offend any fans of the Xbox One. Or anything like that but the UI is just honestly terrible it's slow it, it's complicated it confuses you sometimes especially if you're someone that buys an Xbox one it's gonna come it's just gonna confuse you so much especially if you're coming from the 360 because the 360 dashboard or, or UI was just so simple and easy to use and the Xbox one is just it's terrible it's slow I, I I just I'm not a fan of it and now I haven't seen the video but this is like a newer video. This isn't like the one where if, with uh, Major Nelson. This is like a new video of it. But I haven't checked it out. But I'll 
definitely put a link in the description down below or and maybe on the screen as well but yeah the new xbox one experience so make sure to go check out that video see what you guys think about it and comment down below and last will be there are rumors that a bioshock collection will be releasing to the ps4 and xbox one now for those of you that don't know bioshock is my favorite game of last generation and the Bioshock collection will include Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite because it's called a Bioshock collection, of course. And I absolutely loved all three of those games. Everyone's least favorite was Bioshock 2, but I'm actually a big fan of Bioshock 2. I like the fact that you play as a big daddy. It was a great game in my personal opinion. Uh, Bioshock, just an uh, amazing game. But Bioshock Infinite, another amazing game. But let me tell you, if this is true, which I'm pretty sure it is because... There are some remastered collections that just didn't really make sense to me for this generation. Bioshock, I can understand why. Because that is an amazing game. It's an amazing franchise. All three games are fantastic, fun to play, amazing experience. And I can understand why it, it's being made into a collection for the PS4 and Xbox One. Shoot! Oh, excuse me, I just sneezed just now. But yeah, that's basically it for RGTV Gaming News Update number 2. Make sure to comment down below and let me know what you think about all this stuff that I just talked about. Do you like it? Dislike it? What? Just give me your thoughts. I would really like to see you guys comment down below and start a conversation. Uh, make sure to follow me on social media if you have not. Twitter at Killer316. Instagram at I underscore am underscore Killer316. And Facebook.com slash Recreation Gaming TV so you guys can stay updated with me. I know I'm not being consistent with the video uploads, and I and I apologize for that. And hopefully, I will get a capture card this month. This month, excuse me, which I said in my last video that I should be getting one this month. I have the money for it. I'm just trying to get a capture card for a good price. If not, I'll just buy it brand new. And the only reason why I really need the capture card is just for the Xbox One because I can't transfer videos to a USB. I have to upload it to download it to upload it again which is a very big hassle and my upload speed is terrible but anyways thank you very much for watching and you guys have a great day